Hello, my name is Andrew Jones and I'm the VP of Engineering for ELAC Americas. Today I'd like to talk to you about subwoofers and specifically our S10 EQ and S12 EQ subwoofers. Now the problem we have with subwoofers is how to integrate them into a room. Whenever we design a loudspeaker, we know that the room is going to be part of that loudspeaker. You don't listen to a loudspeaker unless it's in a room. But the characteristics of the room affect what a loudspeaker sounds like. And in fact, the location of the speaker in that room and the location of the listener in that room together both affect the sound that you'll get from that loudspeaker room listener position combination. Now, traditionally, the way we deal with that, particularly with passive loudspeakers, is move the loudspeakers around in the room to different locations and move the listening position around in that room to different locations until we find the smoothest, most accurate performance of the loudspeaker in that room. Unfortunately, we may find that those locations, both of the loudspeaker and of the listener, are not good locations for us to live with. The speakers may be too far out into the room. The listening location may not be where you want to, for example, put your couch. So how do we deal with that differently? Well, of late, there have been techniques for EQing the subwoofer. So no matter where the location of the listener is and the subwoofer is, we can apply some kind of correction to the response to compensate at least for that particular listening location and location of the subwoofer. Now in the past these have involved having calibrated microphones on long cables strung across the room for you to do the calibration. We've come up with a method that does away with that microphone cable calibration system and instead of a calibrated microphone on a cable, we use the microphone in a smartphone or tablet over Bluetooth. Now I know what you're thinking, but the microphone in a smartphone is not calibrated. In fact, it's uh, not going to have a very good response at all. How can we possibly use that to calibrate a system? Well, we've come up with a way of essentially auto calibrating the microphone in that phone. And I'm gonna show you that now with the aid of a smartphone. So I'm gonna use an iPhone 6 Plus in this case, nice big screen so we can all see it. And I'm gonna connect over low energy Bluetooth to this subwoofer. Uh, currently it's disconnected, but it sees the presence of it. So now all I have to do is hit connect. It's now connected, it's that easy. And it takes us to the home screen. The home screen allows us to adjust the level of the subwoofer so we can easily adjust it if it's too loud or too soft. It also has four listening modes. A normal mode, a music mode, a cinema mode, and a night mode. Each optimized for those kinds of music or cinema or late night listening. But what we're interested in right now is the auto EQ mode, which we access through here. This brings up a screen that says microphone calibration. First thing we're going to do is we'll run a series of test tones through the subwoofer and we'll pick them up with the microphone that's built into the phone. And to do that, we'll hold the phone and its microphone very close to the subwoofer. In fact, about here. Now, this is what we call the near field of the subwoofer. And by near field, we mean that the only thing we're seeing is the sound from the subwoofer. It's not influenced by the room. So we're able to measure the subwoofer independently of what the room does to the sound of the subwoofer. And we could say this is the measured performance, the designed performance response of the subwoofer. Uh, as speaker engineers, we very often measure close in to understand exactly what the speaker is doing. So I'll start there. Hold the phone near, analyze. Mm -hmm. 
OK, so that's step one. You can see this blue curve here shows a pretty smooth response, as it should do so when we measure close into the subwoofer. It's very smooth in the passband, but there is a low frequency roll off. Now, right now, we don't know whether that roll off is due solely to the subwoofer or the microphone or a combination. It's quite likely that a lot of it is due to the microphone. We don't know. We're going to compensate for that. So the way we do that is we now move this phone and microphone out to the listening location and we'll run the test tones again. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to just hold it a couple of feet away from the subwoofer so it's more out into the room. So it's not as dramatic as it would be at the listening position, but it'll serve the purpose for this demonstration. So I'm going to move out here and I'm going to press next. Now we'll see that screen again and I'm going to reanalyze. So we now have a new curve and you can see this curve is not as smooth as the curve we had when we measured close to the subwoofer. And if, of course, I measured further out into the room, it would be a lot less smooth. Now, we're going to use that curve and compare to the curve that we measured close to the subwoofer and automatically adjust a set of filters until the curve we measured out here matches what we measured close to the subwoofer which means that when we listen to the subwoofer in the room, we will now be hearing it as it sounded if we were close to the subwoofer, not influenced by the room. So go to next, and you can see it very quickly calculates the filter curves that will turn that blue curve into the green curve. So that's a much smoother curve, and it's making the EQ'd sound of the subwoofer at the listening location match the sound that we had with close into the subwoofer. Very easy, very quick, no trailing wires, and pretty much all smartphones these days have low energy Bluetooth capability, so we'll easily connect and pair automatically with the subwoofer. That's all there is to it. Very simple process and a very easy way of matching your subwoofer into the room. Thank you.